guys, Mr. T. Lexify back, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 transportation methods in Call of Duty World at War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2. Now, if you don't know what the transportation method that I'm talking about, this is essentially getting from point A to point B in a zombies map without you or your character having to walk to that point. So, for example, what I mean is like the uh, Darice teleporters, or the Ascension Lunar Landers, or the Shangri-La water slide or the transit bus or the mob of the dead plane anything like that we are going to be making a top 10 list about that in today's video so without further ado guys let's get straight into the video so coming in at our number 10 spot we are going to have the mob of the dead gondola now with the mob of the dead gondola it was a very very cheap price and it was perfectly positioned in the map you can have many players in the gondola at one time and it was a very very good camping spot and it made your mob of the dead experience a lot more greater than it usually was now guys the mob of the dead gondola is also very cheap and it looks aesthetically pleasing what else can you ask for in a transportation device now going on to the number nine spot this is going to be the shino numa lift now with the shino numa lift it was a tiny bit more expensive than the gondola but with the shino numa lift you were able to hop off the lift at any point in time and it was just a lot more fun guys because it's also a world at war map which has this which is very very amazing this is going to be the only world that were transportation method in this list the only other one was the Doris teleporters and I didn't feel like adding that to the list but anyways guys going on to the number eight spot this is going to be the origins tank now the origins tank is a very fun uh, transportation method to use because you can go on the tank it only costs around 500 points and you can go around the whole map of origins in a very very short amount of time it is also a very fun weapon to use as well because there's fire that can come out the uh, out of the front of the tank but the only bad part about this tank is that it can kill you after a recent patch with origins it now can kill you if you stand in front of it and the fire can also kill you which does kind of suck and for you to actually obtain zombie kills you have to actually damage the zombie first before the origins fire can set fire on the zombies and that fire is also an insta kill which is very very good and which is also why I think it is better than the transit bus now going on to our number seven spot this is going to be the Shangri-La minecart now I love the Shangri-La minecart definitely something that I really enjoyed it made the Shangri-La map have a more intense jungle feeling as you go through the mines and the caves of the jungle and it's very very fun guys I love it and with the Shangri-La cart it did have its glitches where if you had to look right at the front of it for you to be able to use it and also it would show you how many players are on your Shangri-La minecart and also you can't move once you're on and it will drop you off in a watery area in the map which I guess are some detriments to the uh, transportation method but anyways going on to our number six spot this is going to be the call of the dead ice slide now I love this call of the dead ice slide it's a very short transportation you can shoot off of it you can't run or anything there were a lot of glitches I remember back in the day with this but they have all been patched and now the call of the dead ice slide is one of my favorite transportation methods the only bad part about it is that you you can get frozen if you stay in the water at the bottom of the slide too long but other than that everything can go off of it too the zombies George Romero it's a very very fun thing to use and moving on to the number five spot this is going to be the Shangri-La water spouts now the Shangri-La water spouts were a very easy transportation method to use you do not have to pay any points to use them you just stand right on top of the spout wait a couple seconds and the spout will shoot you up and bring you to a higher elevation on the map Shangri-La I love the they were so much fun to use they also shot up zombies as well which made it very useful but the only problem with the Shangri-La water spouts is if there are zombies at the top of the water spouts which the map is designed to kind of do you will get trapped and you will die very very quickly which is the only detriment to it but I absolutely love the idea and personally when I think of Shangri-La I think of ideas that were poorly executed great ideas that were poorly executed guys but this idea was such a good idea but if only the map was a little bit tiny bigger then it would have been even better now coming down to our number four spot this is again going to be on Shangri-La but this is going to be the Shangri-La water slide now the Shangri-La water slide was definitely one of the best escape routes especially if you're going on a four-player strategy in the Shangri-La map 
definitely one of the funner parts about the map and also with the Shangri-La water slide you could do this uh, along with the easter egg there was a major part in the easter egg for Shangri-La involving the water slide and it's just a very fun escape route to use and the whole map is essentially using escape routes from the spouts to the water slide to the minecart Shangri-La is a good map but it just could have been better now going on to the number three spot this is going to be the call of the dead zip line now the call of the dead zip lines there were two one from the uh, higher tower bringing you down to a ship and one from the power uh, switch ship going down to the main area of the map or the main room of the map and I love these zip lines guys because the zombies could even go on them and it was a very cool escape route and even George Romero can go on them just love the zip lines there's something about seeing the map around you that just makes it very very real and very very fun now going on to our number two spot this is going to be the ascension lunar landers now the ascension lunar landers are probably everyone's favorite they're an easy escape they're used for the power they're used for the pack a punch the lunar landers are absolutely amazing Amazing. They're so much fun and another cool part about it is you can see the whole map wherever you are on the Lunar Lander Absolutely amazing. They're very very cheap as well And that is why I think the Lunar Landers are probably the number two spot now going on to our honorable mentions We have three honorable mentions and the first one is going to be the transit bus now The transit bus was definitely worth the mention But it was just too much to use I guess because you would have to build buildables on the transit uh, bus and also it was just not that great in general and also the second honorable mention that we are going to have is the Gersh device now the Gersh device is a transportation device that essentially you can use at any point in time and you it was first introduced into Ascension the Gersh device is absolutely amazing guys I love it it's very easy to use the only bad part about the Gersh device is it will teleport you to any random location on the map which can be detrimental at times but in all in all, it's a very, very fun weapon or uh, transportation method to use. Now going to our last honorable mention, this is going to be one of the only Black Ops 2 ones. This is going to be the Trample Steam. Now the Trample Steam was first introduced in Die Rise and was later used on in Buried. The Trample Steam was a very, very fun one to use. Again, you could use it wherever you would like. But the reason I did not put it on the list is because uh, many times it would be able to kill you. There are many glitches involved with the Trample Steam, which is why I think it did not deserve to be on the list. Now finally going on down to the number one transportation method in Call of Duty Zombies this is going to be the Call of the Dead flinger or the flipper and essentially what this would do is you would just go on the power ship and there was this flinger that would send you from one side of the map to the other side of the map and this flinger was used as a weapon it was used as an insta kill it can also transfer uh, transfer George Romero this flipper or flinger was absolutely amazing there were no glitches with this whenever I used it there was no glitches the only little tiny bad part about it is it takes quite a while to activate and it will have to reset every time you use it but all in all it's a very very fun one and I personally think it is one of the best anyways guys I do hope you enjoyed this video if you want to hit this video up to 300 likes so we can get more top 5 videos coming to you guys as soon as possible they will be uploading every single Monday and every single Thursday so make sure to tune back into my channel to check anyways guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys later